Welcome, everybody. I'm Cody Horton, Managing Director for Diverse Recruiting Experts. I'm amazed to have a, a phenomenal guest with us, Latasha Gillespie, who is the Head of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for Amazon Studio. Uh, Latasha has a very busy and productive schedule, so uh, you know I'm thankful, Latasha, that you could join us join us today. And so, you know, a little bit about Latasha, uh, being that she is the Executive Head of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at Amazon Studios, Prime Video, and IMDb. Uh, her role is really to build the mechanisms to improve diversity and inclusion, content, creative, and the ecosystem across Amazon Studios. Latasha's scope is global. You've got a huge role. Uh, she travels the world sharing inspirational messages of leadership and inclusion. And based on your 20 years of experience, um, you, I couldn't think of anybody better to do that. Uh, prior to this role, Latasha led global diversity and inclusion across Amazon's corporate organization. Uh, she's credited with the company's participation in historically black colleges and universities partnership challenge. And she's also credited with leading Amazon's first conversation of race and ethnicity, their core conference. Prior to Amazon, Latasha spent 20 years in finance and human resources at Caterpillar Incorporated. Uh, she's been had assignments in Treasury and both North America and Latin America dealer organizations. In 2000, Latasha joined the HR team, holding a variety of positions, including diversity recruiting, Six Sigma Black Belt, compensation and benefits manager, uh, and employee and rela uh, employee relations director uh, facilities in both the Mexico and and the U.S. and Cat and she was also. Caterpillar's chief diversity officer for three years before she went overseas to be the head of HR for Africa, Middle East, Russia, CIS, and Asia, Asia Pacific. Uh, she was also Black Enterprise named her as 2019 Most Powerful Women in Corporate Diversity, and she is a 2018 Ebony Magazine Power 100 uh, honoree. Latasha grew up in Chicago. I just left Chicago a few years ago. Uh, she received her, her bachelor's her degree in finance from the Southern Illinois University, uh, Carbondale. Uh, Latasha also currently resides in Los Angeles with her husband, Damien. They have two sons, Damien II, a recent graduate of Howard University, and Miles, who attends Howard University in DC. That's amazing and, and really impressive. And I'm I'm just thrilled that you you took the time to, to join us, Latasha. Listen, it's my pleasure to be here. It's it's interesting, uh, you know, to hear someone read your whole life uh, while you're sitting there listening. So it's it's uh, it's funny. The one thing I thought was funny when you said she travels the world, I was like, well, she used to. So <laughs> <laughs> she's been grounded for a year, but um, hopefully we'll we'll get back to normal soon. That's right. We're not racking up those frequent flyer miles either. No, but thank God for Delta because they let my, uh, you know, Delta Diamond extend another year. So I was like, yes. Wow. Yeah, no, that's that's amazing how they're doing that. Well, Latasha, I know a lot of people wanted to join this. Uh, there are some people who were not able to join it, but they'll get the replay afterwards. Okay. We're also going to take questions in the Q&A box. So put your questions in the Q&A. We're going to get to questions. Uh, if we can't get to all the questions, then we'll follow up with you. Um, a lot of things that um, I've looked at when I was researching your background, Latasha, very amazing and, 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 and impressive. Uh, one of the questions I have for you is, you know, what have you learned on this journey that would help other women who are on the journey toward growing their career? Yeah, you know, it's it's funny. And I'm, I'm going to start this question off with something that may um it may for some people feel a little controversial, but um, for me, it's just who I am. And uh, I have learned that the, for me, the most expensive place to be is outside of the will of God. And, and, and that's important for me. And I'm not trying to evangelize or, or convert anyone uh, from their beliefs, but in terms of who I am and what has guided me, I have to say that first and foremost. So yeah. my path has been anything but linear. Right. So I started off in finance, somehow ended up in HR, became a Six Sigma black belt, you know, 
uh, just a variety of things that you've already gone through. And in each of those situations, um, I did a couple things. One, I always prayed for the yes or the yuck. God, is this my next right step? And even when it didn't make sense, sometimes I said yes. And when on paper, it looked like I should have said yes, but I knew in my spirit, he was saying, no, that's not for you. I turned down. And so, so for me, the first thing is um, making sure that I'm always, you know, in the center of his will in terms of my career path. And so always praying for the yes or the yuck. And then the second thing uh, I think is being open to possibilities and leaning into the yes, right? So, you know, there were times in my career, as you saw, based on my, my, my educational background and my work experience, where someone presented an opportunity to me that I didn't always feel necessarily qualified for, right? Or didn't yeah. feel like I met the, all the criteria. And actually what I've learned is those are the things to actually go chase. It's go chase the things outside your comfort zone. Go chase the things that are actually going to make you slightly uncomfortable. The places that are going to stretch you and grow you. Um, because that's where you're really going to learn. And I would just tell people to do that. Yeah, no. And, and I appreciate you sharing how you actually um, lean in on, on, on your faith uh, mm -hmm. to, to make decisions. In fact, one of the things you talked about is you talk about people said, hey, look, careers look like they're linear. And I think yeah. more people than not have that misconception that leaders that have succeeded and they're at your level um, had that straight trajectory. 